don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but here we go. <laughs> it's interpretive dancing. Hello, everybody. Holy shit, there's people here. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, Thank you for that the happens. resubscription, Jamie91284. 17 months. You're welcome. Are you sure, Jams? Are you sure that's what yeah, you want to do? Okay. I guess I'm committed to this she, thing. I, yeah, she doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure? <laughs> what she doesn't have a choice. I like our what? emoticons. <laughs> I do like them too. Biased, clearly. But I like them. <laughs> Let's hope job. I'm still subscribed to our channel. That would be useful, I think. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend despite losing an hour of sleep, which is the worst. Always fun. It's fun, right? Yeah. Woohoo. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right, let's get started. Greetings, Curious Crowd, and welcome to another Curious Bites, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share our weekly discoveries and distract- Blech, words. Share our weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is Monday, March the 14th, 2022. It is Pi Day. I am Rach. That is Ronnie. That's Jams. That is Pixel Jen. She's sad that she's missing Pi Day. Yes. She wanted us to tell y'all happy Pi Day. From Jen. And whether you have savory pies, or dessert pies, or fruit pies, or pizza pies, enjoy all the carbs. The pies. Ow! <laughs> and try not to get bitten by your feline friends. <laughs> That's how she shows me she loves me. <laughs> or maybe Felicity just wants pie. Either way. <laughs> She's learning from Rich, eh? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> You're just very Let's... tasty, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. Uh, last Thursday, we welcomed Zach to Nerds Are Us. And we talked about streaming and podcasting and why sloths are the superior animal. <laughs> and a lot more. We tangent it a lot. But, you know, it's us. So That happens, yeah. Yay. Um, if you missed that conversation, we will have that up on our YouTube channel shortly. And that is where you can find all of our previous... Uh, Nerds Are Us live podcast recordings, as well as Curious Bites recordings. All the recordings. If you ever feel like you need to play something in the background while you do your chores, because that's what I do when I adult. And I will drop the link in the chat if you are so inclined to subscribe to said YouTube channel. Please do, it's free. Free. Gotta love free. Free free. Free 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 free. Free 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 free. Free 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 free. Uh so for this week's schedule, we have a returning guest um on the Nerds Are Us non podcast podcast stream. We're welcoming back Bianca, aka Bookording. And we're super excited to have her back, but we're also super excited to have Letitia and um, Amanda in the next couple of weeks. So we've got three powerhouse ladies returning to our stream. It's going to be super fun to have them guest and and chat. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh yes, this Saturday um, we are taking part in a fundraiser. So we are going to be doing a cozy stream on Saturday. Um, not entirely sure what exactly we're doing. I'm thinking we're going to play some geography games because we are raising um, money for 
uh, the relief efforts um, for the people of Tonga. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to learn a little bit more ge geographically, because a lot of people don't know where the Pacific Islands are. Hint, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Um, but <laughs> it's, it's definitely an area of the world that people are not as familiar with. So I think it would be really fun to do a little geography and get cozy. That, that's probably going to be our plan. So we shall see. More details to come on our, um, on our Twitter, because that's where I live, usually. Um, and there's going to be a lot of giveaways uh, this Saturday and next Saturday, because there's, um, we're splitting up the fundraising over two Saturdays. We're going to be streaming only this Saturday. Um, and some of the prizes are going to be one of one Sunes, so... You don't want to miss these streams. It's just going to be a fun raid train. Um, Cassius Clay is going to be streaming. The Average Nerds are going to be streaming. Um, again, follow all of us and uh, you'll get details on how to win with your donations. It's going to be fun and cozy. I'm trying to think what else we have planned. But I think that is it. Yes, we are behind on our podcast, so stay tuned for that. It's it's coming, we promise. You know, work gets in the way sometimes of things, of the fun things. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. It's just because we lost an hour. That's why it feels that way. Huh. But I think you've got everything. That it's a good thing right. that my uh, my phone actually automatically and my computer automatically move an hour forward because then it kind of feel almost feels like it's not really happening to me. <sighs> Monday brain. Um, I don't really have a what the duck for this week because it's just there's so much ducks out there. But I did find. A nice little tweet from uh, a very special human being, aka uh, the lovely Dolly Parton, who who tweeted out this really lovely little note, um, kind of res rescinding her nomination for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because she felt like she didn't earn the right to be nominated, and a lot of the uh, the Dolly verse out there responded back saying that she more than deserves being there, but understand um her decision to to kind of take her hat out of the race she's the best she really is just the sweetest and it also looks like she might put out a rock and roll album just so that she can earn her her spot back to be nominating in the future which is adorable and i wouldn't mind a rock dolly album so yeah, Good news that. all around for her fans, really. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah. Totally deserve the nomination, I think. I feel like the the rock and roll part of this Hall of Fame is not really accurate in terms of describing the award now. I mean, it's not... In the past, it hasn't always been just pure rock and roll people being nominated and Right. Mm -hmm. And added to the Hall of Fame. So maybe it's time that they change the name. Yeah, guys. Yeah. But it's just Dolly being Dolly and awesome. So had to throw that in there. Um, in terms of the curious cue, um, I was going to be like, you know, since we lost an hour on Sunday, what are your thoughts on Daylight Savings? I think it should stay one way or the other. I am tired of switching back and forth. I'm genuinely wondering if it's part of like a conspiracy thing of trying to see how many people die of a heart attack the day after the hour goes away. Because they said there's a huge jump 
of heart attacks and strokes from, from people because they get they lose that hour and they get stressed out or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. and um it just it messes with your sleep or whatever and we're not getting any younger so <laughs> at some point it's gonna be like our age group that's just gonna like kick it <laughs> <laughs> um for after losing the hour so um yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a culling of sorts. I don't know, but they they just need to get rid of it. Like it's just it's just not cool. And for those of us who have children or and or pets, they don't get it. They don't understand. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm an adult. I still don't understand why we're still doing this. <laughs> That's why my dog there's, was super whiny today. <laughs> there's no reason for it. So I just. I mean, we had a, what, what, what did they call it? Like a non-binding referendum to stay in daylight savings like two year, three years ago. Mm. And the government was like, okay, we're going to, we're going to get rid of it. And then once that referendum went through, they immediately said, oh, well, we're going to have to have talks with Washington State. Oregon and California since we're all in the same time zone so that we can work something out and I'm like Arizona did it and didn't confer with anybody they're fine yeah the world did not end um and then the pandemic happened so it was no longer a priority which understandable but we were so close guys we were so close (laughs) yeah also I think the statistic on on heart attacks is true for when we fall back an hour too. It's not just when we spring forward. Oh, I thought it was mainly when we spring forward because you lose it's, it. It's it's both. When the clocks change, it's both. I believe. Well, it just I changes the that. rhythm of things, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it's just. It's just inconvenient. It's, it's is what pointless. it is. It's pointless. It's not just inconvenient. Well, like, I understand an inconvenience if it if there's a point to it. There is no point to this. <laughs> right. Which and, is frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say something and then I looked at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Kaz wants Kaz wants his hour back. So does Patty. Uh Cicero says I'm over it. I want whichever way doesn't make the sunset so early. <laughs> it doesn't change the rhythm of the night. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I laughed. That was good. I like that. Debarge um, would be sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Um yeah, no, I was telling Janice before you logged on, Rach, that, like, I didn't, I glanced at my clock, because I was still working, because I'm used to working when it's daylight out, and then when we start streaming, it's usually dark, so mm-hmm. when it said it was 6.30, I was like, no, it isn't, <laughs> <laughs> and so I was late sending the, the meet link, but, um, yeah, so I'm all fucked up now, I'm still working, so. Mm, meet links. Meat links. What? Like sausages? <laughs> Smossages, clearly. <laughs> See, Kaz gets it. Yeah, Kaz wants some meat links as well. Oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Smossages. That's what we're talking about, right? <laughs> no? Not smossages? See what okay. happens? See what happens when you lose an hour? <laughs> I mean, I'm already running on very little sleep. Losing that hour was not cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's. Not I know we get great. we technically get it back in the fall, but no, no. Don't worry. Anyway, so boo on uh, mm. time changing. Yay on smosses. <laughs> this is what we learned today, guys. Yeah, we learn lots. We're an educational don't stream. Say, yeah, <laughs> don't say we don't give you anything of value. <laughs> super, super valuable. Uh, mm-hmm. Moving on to our D and Ds, Ronnie, you are up first. Oh, all right. <laughs> we oh, summoned. Okay. We summoned Cruz. 
because oh, someone no. said sausages. You said sausages. I said sausages. Okay, there is a difference. There isn't. Yes, yeah, but... sausages are dog treats. Are they? Yes. Oh. I said sausages. They're not very healthy dog treats, but they're dog treats. <laughs> Have you been eating Do dog you... treats, dear? <laughs> Cruz, you, you want dog treats? Do you, do you have a dog? <laughs> did you adopt a doggo? Did you get a us? dog? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking right, of turning into animals. <laughs> yes. Um... Which also, I saw a red panda at the zoo this weekend, which just made it extra adorable. Because I, okay, I have a, <laughs> I have to vent on the red panda in the Houston Zoo. Because we've had that red panda for a long time now. Every time I go to the zoo, that red panda is never out. <laughs> like, he's always <laughs> hiding somewhere. I haven't seen that red panda. I saw him this weekend. He decided to venture out. And there's two of them. And they're adorable. Aww. Um. But all the years, I, I even like when he was first announced, our very, very first one, um, and I went over there just to, to see it, and it refused to make an appearance. <laughs> it was a diva. So, yes, I was very happy to, to finally see one in the flesh. But anyway, uh, so yes, uh, a big distraction for me this week was um, uh, turning red. And uh, the, I mean, we had this huge uh, conversation in our uh, nerd chat group on Twitter, um, and this is totally the fault of our friends because <laughs> someone started this conversation saying that the main character reminded them of Rachel. This is due to certain mannerisms and I guess just general excitement uh, and things. And so I watched the movie I was planning on watching it, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this because if, if it's reminding people of Rachel, I need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went ahead and I put it on and it's 1000% accurate. <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm not, when I I'm watched not... it, it was just like, wait, have they stolen our identities, <laughs> but made us 13? Because that's... Yes unreasonable and where are royalties pixar yes excuse me so this isn't the first time that disney pixar has done this either because uh they did that to our good friend at gb reviews violet with violet from um the incredibles <laughs> um it's like legit carbon copy too like the character design everything it's just violet it's just violet <laughs> so um but as, as i'm watching the the movie I'm starting to see, like, because we are all basically like a mix of these four characters. Like, I think we have a lot in common with all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they, there were a lot of things that were distinctly us per character. So Jams is totally Melanie. I'm Priya. And uh, Jen is Abby. And it, it's, just, <laughs> it's a little weird, but it's, I mean, it's, it's all very, very cute. But um, they're all friends, and they all have, you know, like, very um, distinct but complementary styles, I feel, and uh, um, behaviors and such. But then they came out with playlists for all of the characters. And now, um, Jams and I aren't predominantly pop, but we do listen to some pop music. And so, and I feel like probably Jams would listen to quite a bit that's on Priya's playlist. And I would listen to actually quite a bit of the pop music that is kind of scattered throughout everyone's. Because like I said, we're all kind of like a mix. But um, but still, <laughs> they're pretty freaking close, I think, to what we would um, make for ourselves as far as like a pop playlist. So um, yes, I'm both impressed and also annoyed that we aren't getting paid for inspiring <laughs> these characters. <laughs> Now I really clearly. need to watch this movie. Yeah, no, you totally do. <laughs> yeah, I, totally do. I'm annoyed at Disney and Pixar for releasing two movies about generational trauma back to back. I feel like that's too much being like attacking, 
And like this one was particularly sweet um, because of the relationship between um, Mei Mei and her dad. I thought that was really just adorable. And if I were to ever drag my dad to a BTS concert, I totally would. Yeah. Just just for giggles. <laughs> yeah, Kaz, um there there was an artist on on Twitter who did a Sailor Moon style uh fan art of the four friends and I thought that was very cute cuz they they recognized the the color aesthetic and just kind of put it in a Sailor Moony type uh genre of fan art which was cool but yeah i super love this movie i think it's super cute it's a yeah. very canadian like in your face canadian which is like really nice to see because usually we don't really we don't really like prominently say like a film is set in canada it's usually just like in the background or an afterthought but it was very proudly canadian um i think the school mascot was the beaver because um, someone mentioned beavers while well, like it was like that school montage of of um literally walking through the hallway so i heard beaver um, and i was like where <laughs> where's the beaver <laughs> um and then i also took a look at the, the playlists and like every single playlist i would have listened to in in the yeah. early 2000s every single one of them so yeah it was kind of I was like, get out of my head. It's weird. Disney, yeah. go away. Pri I, ha I do have to say Priya's was pretty perfect for me, though, in terms of- Priya's was of probably that. my favorite, because it had Celine. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it had- What were the two? It was Avril and Celine that stood out for me on Priya's, I think. That was like, yes! <laughs> and yes. like, uh, <laughs> don't speak from no doubt. I was like, mm. that was like my jam. So yeah. Yeah, which I think I think that's why also James would probably respond more to that one. But um, the uh, Melanie's I think was also pretty strong um, as well. I mean, they all kind of had bangers, as I as I, I mentioned to Jen too, because I think it, <laughs> the Abby one is appropriately Jen because it's got like Latin music. <laughs> so I think like they had like Ricky Martin and like another one I can't remember which one, <laughs> but it was just appropriately her. So. Yeah. Um and I think that was also due to the fact that the movie was set in 2002 and so the songs on those playlists were like those were my high school songs like yeah. I had my I had my discman and I would listen to them on my discman. Um, that was the year I graduated from high school. I know dude, I was just like no, uh, 2001 but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just agree. <laughs> Uh, yes, <sighs> April says, shout out to the all-female leadership team behind Turning Red, and Domi being the first female to solo direct a Pixar feature film. Yeah, it took them long enough, didn't it? What year is it? <laughs> 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 what year is it? Yes, Cruz, I said Beaver. <laughs> um, also, the fact they mentioned Toque. Lots of Canadian oh, yeah, Canadianisms in, in this. Um, May May wore a shirt with a maple leaf emblazoned across it. We're not we're, Canadians aren't known for being extremely patriotic, except during the Olympics. We're very patriotic during the Olympics. <laughs> That's pretty much the only time that we're like extremely. <clears throat> um. Crew said, Rage equals Red Panda, Rage equals Firefox, Rage's new name is Mozilla. Sure. <laughs> she said sure. Sure. Sure, Christopher. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. You say so, Chris. I, I prefer Brave, which is a little lion, because I'm Leo, so... Sure. Um... Hi, Robbie. Welcome on in. I think I cover everything in the chat sort of kind of um yeah go watch the movie it's it's really fun again trigger yes. warning for for the uh generational trauma because i knew it was coming like the way that they set it up in the first in the opening 
couple of minutes, you know it's coming, but then it's like, ah, oh, damn it. Why? Also, if you want any insight on us as 13-year-olds, that's basically it. <laughs> True statement. Yes. Although I was a lot more bright and shiny than Priya. I think Priya is basically me now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Because I, I definitely was a, a little bit shinier when I was a kid. So. Okay. Also, there was just so much about the whole, like, boy band boy band craze that just spoke to me as a as, as a 90s kid it yes. just spoke to me deeply yes. well we were just bombarded by that that was like like uh, so there were so many when we were growing up so you know it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to escape it 100 percent agree also lots of great voice acting talent mm-hmm Yeah, Kaz. That was gonna be my, um, duck. what the duck, and then yeah. I was like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna give this this guy any more uh, attention, attention. That, he, that he already yeah. has. Um, I will say, you know, just because a story doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean that story doesn't deserve to be told. And we'll leave it at that. I agree, April. The notebook doodles were really, really awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I, maybe I it's definitely talented. related to that. Yeah. Yeah. I doodled randomly all the time. I was like doing, I was like on task and then I would just randomly doodle on my paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still do that now, actually. <laughs> she was talented. Okie dokies. Also, I have like this urge to like dye my hair red now for some strange reason. But anyway, <laughs> anyway it would, moving on. It would look so good on you, though. <laughs> I think. Moving on to some Marvel news. Oh yes. Um. Oh. You see, this is why I need to have my links open and I'm being not uh, efficient. Okay, so it was announced <clears throat> that the great uh, composer, which we've spoken about many a times here on uh, on the Bites, uh, Michael Gugino, um, has been announced to do his first, uh, to direct his first uh, feature film, um, which is for Disney Plus, I believe, and it is... The Marvel's Halloween special, which is in my notes. <laughs> Hang on a second. One sec. One sec, one sec, one sec. Shit. I want to say it's like werewolfy related. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. I keep clicking the wrong Google Drive. <laughs> Slow down, woman. Because you keep. Doing it. Ooh, wrong. Robbie, spam and rice. Please share. Send it through the chat. Okay, for fuck's sake, now that I have it open. <laughs> Werewolf by Night, sweet mother of God. Um, it will be starring Gael Garcia Bernal, which I'm in, and Laura <laughs> Donnelly. And uh, Gael will be playing a werewolf. Um, and obviously, this is a comic published uh, in the 1970s, centered uh, on a man named Jack Russell, who is uh, our main werewolf. Um, and it looks like he was introduced in, well, Moon Knight was introduced in this. So that gives Marvel an opportunity to do some fun things. Um, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, um, but yeah, still very exciting. And congratulations to Michael for, um, you know, getting the directorial opportunity. If he's as, uh, even a smidge good at it, as much as he is amazing as a composer, <laughs> then, uh, watch out. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm optimistic. So. So. Do you mean to tell me 
Yeah. That we now have. Because has Gael done anything? In Marvel? No. Marvel yet? No. No. No, right? He has not. Okay. Correct. I would know. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Oscar and Gael in the, in the Marvel universe now? Yes. Is mm -hmm. that what you're telling me? Hmm. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Okay. If the Could if Diego know? wasn't part of Star Wars, <laughs> oh no, then... you can't. If all three of them are together on screen, I think the screen would just explode. No, it'd be okay. I'd be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> if you put Diego, Gael, Pedro, and oh Oscar. All in, all oh. together. Yep. <clears throat> A moment of think, silence. <laughs> yeah, I think I just broke my brain. Just the thought of it just broke me. So, yeah. No. <laughs> that had, I, I don't even know if Disney can handle. <laughs> That's just a so. lot of beautiful brown yeah mm -hmm. that's just, yeah uh, 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 ronnie has broken cicero yep. said <laughs> that they would explode all the paws um <laughs> kaz thank you for getting my stupid spam joke i tried but thank you for getting it <laughs> um april also says that i should dye my hair and add the red panda ears and tails match Oh, adorable. Yes, definitely. Out of everyone, you could totally pull that off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wiggling, you order... but... <laughs> you should just order a wig from Amazon just to have it. Because mm -hmm. it's like a very particular red. Like, just order it's, it. It's really bright red. It. Yeah. Like, so just order it, try it on, see, see how it feels. I might do that. Get little, get little red panda ears. <laughs> uh, Cass says he's gonna watch it again and go Easter egg hunting. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cesaro, but you know, at least I have space wizards who fight with laser phalluses to relate to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just. Anyway, if you know, you know. Um, you know. <laughs> Patty says they are turning red Mickey ears. They're turning red. Oh. They're turning red Mickey ears on Shop Disney. Ah, does it have little like panda? Red panda. Also, I found it hilarious the number of tweets. So, like, I thought red pandas looked like regular pandas, and I'm like, nah. What? No. <laughs> What? Go go look up your animal animal species. <laughs> <laughs> they're like it the looks like a are raccoon. So elusive. And I'm like, Ugh. I mean, guys, they do, they look they legit look like Google plush search. toys. A simple Google yeah. search is not difficult. Like if you have if Google a, at your fingers. If a if a plush toy was real, <laughs> that's what a red panda looks like. <laughs> it's basically it which is probably why they're so elusive because if you have them at the at the at your zoo i bet you more than half the time they're not anywhere out in public a hundred percent accurate they're cute i think i've only seen when we had red pandas at our zoo i, I had only seen it maybe once or twice mm -hmm. they they do not like being out and about it seems I have to say, they were both extremely active at the zoo on Saturday, so I was pleasantly surprised because they were actually like getting up close to the glass and being performative. But I was like, "Did did y'all have something? <laughs> <laughs> did they give you something?" Um, but yeah, so and we've had them for a good, I don't know, I I I want to say maybe a decade we've had them and I've never seen them. So gotcha, gotcha. Uh, jams. What were your D and Ds? 
So I have no images for mine because I'm a procrastinator, but um, <laughs> both of mine came from Shudder because you all know how much I love Shudder. Um, the first thing that I watched was a documentary called The Nightmare that came out in 2015. It is a terrifying documentary film about sleep paralysis. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. the the director was inspired to make this movie based on um, his prior experience with sleep paralysis. So he interviews eight different people that go into depth with their experiences with it. And he kind of creates uh, reenactments of it on the screen. And the images are quite horrifying. Um, basically... It's a phenomenon where people find themselves temporarily unable to move, speak, or react to anything while they're falling asleep or awakening. So, like, even though you feel like you are awake, you can't do anything. And some people um, find themselves experiencing hallucinations or physical experiences and... It can be quite terrifying. I myself experienced it once, and it was terrifying. <laughs> you feel completely helpless, and like you have no control over your own body. And I hope I never go through that again. <laughs> so, did you have? Did you have a shadow person? I did not, but I felt like there was some somebody after me. Gotcha. And like I kept trying to say, help me. Help yeah. Me. And I couldn't say anything. I couldn't move. So yeah, it was quite scary. So if you get a chance to watch this terrifying documentary, give it a no, thank you. Give it a look. <laughs> I always um Something that close that probably people have seen to it, or at least an example of it, is in Haunting of Hill House, where, um, oh my god, what's her character's name? The main chick? Um, I just watched it and I can't remember. There's so many of them. <laughs> um, hang on, this is what Google's for. No, her name is on the tip of my tongue. Eleanor. For fuck's sake. Yeah. No. So, um, <laughs> yes. So, Nell, whenever she sees the bent lick lady, it's usually after having uh, sleep paralysis when she wakes up So and she can't move. So that's that's a similar example, anyway. Yeah, they um, talk about paralysis. a couple of different um, movie and TV references that kind of are the same experiences somebody somebody goes through with sleep paralysis so it's kind of interesting yeah i would be keen mm -hmm. to watch yeah. it not have it <laughs> yeah no <laughs> yeah i figured as much but i'm glad that you specified anyway <laughs> yes uh, i would be worried if you wanted to have it <laughs> i'd be yeah. like no girl no <laughs> And it's not like it's easy for them to do studies on it either, because mm -hmm. it's not like it's happens on like a regular. Right. Mm -hmm. The other movie that I watched on Shudder was also from 2015, and it's called Darling. Um, it's a very artsy black and white horror film um, where this girl she is asked to be a caretaker for a house um i'll read this synopsis here in need of a full-time caretaker to look after her house an elegant and enigmatic madame hires a lonely young woman however this is not an ordinary place indeed this silent residence is the oldest building in the city, riddled with unpleasant stories of forbidden occult practices and terrible rumors of morbid hauntings. With such a reputation, most people would turn down the madam's lucrative offer. Nevertheless, this lovely caretaker is up to the task. 
even though right from the start, peculiar occurrences and blood curdling sounds that permeate the empty mansion's long corridors foretell an ominous fate. Under those circumstances, why is that room at the end of the hallway off limits? Can the tormented keeper rid herself of the ever growing voices inside her head? So basically you see this girl's slow ascension into madness. Um, there are a lot of like flashing lights. So if that bothers you, you might want to stay away from this one. Um, and there's a lot of like hallucinatory images. Like, you know, those things where like you, they're shaking their heads real fast. And, oh, yeah. Like weird, creepy images. And there's a lot of that kind of stuff. And it's very interesting. That was and, popular in the in the mid to late uh, 2000s, wasn't it? Yeah. There's a, there's a few horror films that did that whole jerky thing. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's a style. So darling. And Shutter Shutter just added a bunch of French horror films that have been on my bucket list for a while, so I'm looking Ooh. forward to checking them off the list. Nice. Very cool. Oh gosh, Kaz says, yup, sleep paralysis, ghost visits. I'm like, oh. That you've experienced? Because mm, if so, we may need to have you on to talk about those things. Mm -hmm. Unless you're not comfortable. <laughs> or if that triggers, talking about it triggers it. Because if it does, I don't recommend. But um, if you're comfortable with it, we, we may need to have conversation. <laughs> Story time. <laughs> we are going to do Halloween Kaz, in July. Halloween in July. Kaz also Kaz said Halloween. they must have gotten excited after watching the movie, and I'm I'm assuming you're talking about Turning Red, that the uh, <laughs> that the red pandas were excited after watching the movie, <laughs> so they decided to oh, prance Chris about for Ronnie. It's Chris says it's happened once or twice for him too, and he did not enjoy. Yeah, it doesn't sound like That's... a fun experience. No. Based no. on other people's experiences. No. I feel like this is a, a good podcast episode. We'll have uh, Cass and uh, uh, Cruz on to talk about their uh, nightmares. <laughs> We can all talk about our night. I've I've had a number of recurring nightmares when I was growing up. I had like a good two or three different recurring nightmares that didn't stop until I got significantly older. Um, and one of them entailed a uh, recurring little monster troll looking thing that I probably dreamt about for about ten years. Hmm. On and off. I don't think I've had any recurring nightmares. I've had recurring themes of just like anxiety dreams. I get that a lot, but not like the nightmares that I've had are one-offs and I don't remember them after a little while. I think it's just my brain's mechanism to like protect it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it was when I was much younger. So, I mean, I was like, we're talking like single digit kid. And I pro they probably stopped when I turned 10. And then um, once, I, once I got a little bit older, I used to dream a lot about tornadoes, but I was never scared of said tornadoes. They were always off in the distance, but that was also like a recurring thing. Interesting. Weird. I don't we, know. We need a I dream interpreter. <laughs> yeah. We need someone to tell us what all of these things mean. I've had a lot of like nightmares that eventually... Um, a horror movie comes out and it's like exactly like my nightmare so i'm like who is stealing these ideas out of my head no someone's <laughs> tapping into your brain stealing your <laughs> that's ideas. creepy for example yep. when i was younger i had a dream about these little alien slug creatures that would crawl into people's ears and take over their bodies and the only way you could get rid of them was with a white powder substance and then the faculty came out mm -hmm. Good stuff. Then I had a dream about a videotape that could kill you. And then the ring came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Someone's 
tapping in. That's how. That's why I blame uh, James Gunn with his Guardians of the Galaxy ending because he totally stole that from my brain. <laughs> <laughs> but oh well. Yeah, it looks like Cruz has had some recurring nightmares. <laughs> I always get like chasing like, there's themes like there's chasing dreams but usually in the chasing dreams I know I'm in a dream and so I wake myself up and so it doesn't get like scary for me which is weird being cognizant in your yeah. dream or yeah knowing in too. your dream that you're dreaming that happens yeah. a lot <laughs> all the time yeah all which is weird because like it doesn't happen all the time but it's it's happened enough times where you're like that's interesting <laughs> that I knew mm -hmm. I was dreaming we should definitely find someone if there's anyone who's like who knows anyone that knows how to interpret dream scapes or whatever i do have like, a friend that, that that does that professionally actually oh my god reach out to her <laughs> please because i i mean i've got questions i've got questions too <laughs> like, i like the, what lucid dreaming like what rachel's talking about like i feel like i rarely have organic dreams anymore because at some point in my organic dream i come to the realization or i become aware that it's happening and then i start changing shit yeah like oh i don't like where this is going we're changing the ending and i'm usually in three places i'm usually in it directing it and watching it from another angle what does that say i don't know hmm. but i'm usually I seeing it from three different camera angles I, I sometimes sing it from, from multiple camera angles as well. Sometimes it's like first person, and then sometimes it's like I'm like an omnipresent like camera that is like seeing yeah. everything, which is like super like the weird. Narrator. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the third person stuff is very weird to me in dreams. Yeah. No, for sure. It is fucking it's, bizarre. It, it's like you're the director. Yeah, it's, it feels like you're the director. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Dreams are weird. Yeah. People are weird. Anyhow. <laughs> Yes, moving on. <laughs> Speaking of weird and people. Um, this conversation took a turn. <laughs> it did take a turn. I wasn't expecting it to take that turn. Now we need to reach out to your friend to explain yeah. all of the dreaming situation. Because that might I'm actually sure explain what, what I'm like awake. <laughs> I'm gonna I feel write like that's like an extension. Our, our Halloween in July ideas, because that's a good one. <laughs> Um, so this dropped, and I was gonna, I was gonna mention also, um, the Kenobi trailer, but I'm, I'm more excited for Bridgerton season two. And there has been a lot of discourse about Bridgerton in general, about season two in general, and I think all sides of it is very fascinating. Um, and it's... It's all over Twitter right now, so if you do come across it, there's some really interesting points of view. Um, good and bad, and I think all of it is necessary in, in discussion. Um, but I'm super excited. I can't wait. I, I love pe people of color in period clothes. It's, it's something that I'm just, like, obsessed with, so... Well, we've been yeah. asking for it for like five million years. Like, can we just get some gorgeous men of all different shades and fucking waistcoats? It's not hard. Mm -hmm. But whatever. So yeah, March 25th, season two, on the flicks. Can't wait. The chemistry is just... Mm. I mm. can't wait. Mm -hmm. I don't have much else to say about it it's gonna be awesome <laughs> i'm hoping it's gonna be awesome i mean it, i'm sure i candy alone um alone yes oh yes so this is two sets not most recent video but one of their recent ones where they play the a couple of songs from di the variety of different disney films um, in classical violin form and I have to say that I See the Light is so pretty as a violin solo um, and that's just a testament to the song being just so wonderful but they go through the evolution of Disney from Snow White to um, Encanto and it's it's lovely 
and they just play like a really quick snippet from each film but very talented and you kind of forget that they both play they used to play professionally violin because they're really a comedy channel talking about classical music in particular violins but when they do these kind of videos you you remember oh yeah they're they're like musicians they're proper musicians <laughs> so it's super fun when they get to show off their their skills but yeah check out uh two set violins evolution of disney And then if OBS will, there we go. So it was a concert weekend. I got to watch the live stream for two of the days of the three day concert extravaganza um, that happened in Seoul. And it was their first live shows in Korea for since 2000 and 19 2008 no 2019 so it's been like two and a half years since they performed at home um and then for the saturday show i actually went to the theaters to watch it with a bunch of fans which was an interesting experience because i haven't done i hadn't done that yet and it was loud <laughs> but it was nice to see the variety of age age ranges for everyone that showed up from like little kids to uh to older fans so pretty cool but yeah it was a good concert lots of fun and i think it like broke records hang on i have the i saved the numbers and i can't remember what it was it's like the concerts made here we go so Across North America, it earned $6.9 million in ticket sales across 800 theaters, <clears throat> which, which garnered them the top grossing live cinema event of all time. And then globally, it's a $32.6 million. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy, considering it was just a recorded stream, essentially, of their concert. Those numbers just don't That's make any crazy. sense to me. <laughs> That's insane. But yeah, that was my weekend. Fun. That's fun. Super fun. Although I, I do really miss live music, even though I went to a live concert not that long ago. It's, it's, it's one of those things where you go to like a live concert and you just can't wait to go to the next one. Right. It's a problem. What's well, like live theater? It's an expensive problem to have. It is, yes. <laughs> but yeah, those are our D and D's, and you can check out all of our discoveries and distractions if you subscribe to our shiny newsletter, which Ronnie painstakingly puts together every week. Sometimes she has to double up because you know, life happens. Life, yes. Um, but yeah, please subscribe to our newsletter. We sometimes do giveaways. And it's fun times. Indeed. I can't wait to like... Because when did you start doing the newsletters? We are, I believe, on number 65, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the one that went out yesterday. Wow. So, we've been... so you've been doing this for more than a year then. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds right. Um, and that's, I mean, that's still doubling up. So it, it technically should probably be more than that, but yeah. Crazy. So yeah, sign up for our newsletter. Jamie Jams, drop the link in the chat. Ooh. Did someone request a film noir? <laughs> I did it because Cruz didn't. <laughs> Christopher, what's up with that? Oh, he's saving his monocles for something, I'm, I'm assuming. 
That's fine. I have a, I have a lot of monocles. I have like almost seventy two thousand. Whoa! I need She's something to spend them on. I have one hundred and eight thousand. <laughs> She's been hoarding all of the monocles. Mm. I think I've spent quite a few monocles. Maybe you should watch us more, Christopher. <laughs> Lurking also increases your monocles. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. You don't have to chat. I think you get more if you chat. I can't remember now. I don't know how the rules work. <laughs> At least you're better than Thursday Night Football. Yeah, that's... I remember this conversation. <laughs> this, is, this is what we discussed when we had you on to talk about uh, the... Uh... Um, what was it? What was the horror movie that you saw? Cabin in the Woods? Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Chicken Tenders. <laughs> that's right. Chicken Tenders, that's right. Yeah. Suddenly I'm craving Chicken Tenders. <laughs> and... uh, finally, we have our spotlight shoutouts. Um, do you always have any spotlights you would like to shine? Spotlight shout out to my cat Castiel. It was his birthday yesterday. He's eleven years Aww. old. Happy Sweet. birthday, Cass! All the cat napping cat treats. Meow meow meow. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> um. I I don't I don't want I don't want to bring I don't want to bring the stream down because it's like it's like a shout out but it's also like a shout out to bad behavior because there's just been it's, there's been a lot of bad behavior on social media just due to fandom so I'm not even gonna taint this experience just moving taint. on <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn I can always count on you I blame Christopher actually. <laughs> It's impact. all your fault, Cruz. <laughs> yep. It's a filthy. Not really, filthy but social. you know, it's fun to just say that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's the uh, the filth mascot, you know. <laughs> it's not usually your fault. It's sometimes your fault. That's not usually. <laughs> <laughs> Usually is good. Um, just, oh, I'm gonna shine. What? I'm glad. <laughs> oh, Wait. he's got a tail. I'll tell y'all after we <laughs> we log off because I don't think he wants his personal business all over the stream. Yeah, I but... would imagine not. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused <laughs> but intrigued. Yeah, I was a little worried there, bud. Are you? Are you? Well, just so that I know, are you going to meet them or not? Is that why you're not getting murdered? Because you're not going to meet them? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, good. Let's let's not do that meeting. Ever. Because that's just... Yeah, please weird. don't get murdered by by people no. in yeah. your past. We enjoy your presence. Indeed. You've got to uh... at least revive until I can make it to Hawaii. <laughs> Because priorities. Priorities. <laughs> we love you, Christopher. <sighs> uh, spotlight to theater employees for putting up with the general public and their awful behavior, and them just throwing food and crap all over the ground oh. because it's not their yeah, it's not their homes. Um, you guys are MPVs. MVPs. Wow. Words. <laughs> letters. <laughs> You're not Vans. I, you I always, I always mix that up in my, like, I know in my brain what I want to say, and then, like, the words come out. Am I dyslexic? Most person valuable. Hmm. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I see y'all. You guys are doing, you guys are doing hard work for for very little pay and having to deal oh. with, you know, making sure people follow the right protocols when protocols are changing. You guys are doing a good job. 
I do love our little filth goblins. I really do. <laughs> HP needs. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure, make sure, make sure you like go and get yourself checked out. It's important. It's a good call. Good call. <laughs> good call. And um, spotlight to Kaz and April and and Dave of the Average Nerd Podcast and Jace and everyone who is and Priscilla, everyone who's uh, participating and donating stuff towards the. Uh, the Tonga Relief Streams. Uh, you guys are awesome. And special shout out to April for creating all of the graphics that we're using to advertise. Um, so yeah. Tune in this Saturday, next Saturday. Follow everyone on on the Twitters. If you if you follow us, we'll be we'll be tweeting a lot about um, the streams that are happening and the schedule, when it gets solidified, and the prizes that you can win. Uh, if you donate during the, those two Saturday streams, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Okay, that's a wrap. I don't think there's anything else. Do you do you ladies have any parting words before we raid things over? Paint. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Uh, Let's find someone. Has a parting word. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, what is the word? <laughs> Apparently, he liked my word. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case. Well, Christopher's would be boobies, though. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Shenanigans. Which is I something else that should that people should get checked out. Make sure to go check the boobies too. Yes. So save the yes. Yes. I'm trying to see who else is on right now. Did you know you what? Know, Let's kick things over to the average nerds. Cool. Let us go. It is their happy hour, which means you can request songs. Is I don't it know Mariah what the theme Monday? is. Oh. They they usually have songs a different with, theme so every. It's songs with pie. Haha! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so go songs grab a pie. slice of pie. Tune in to the Average Nerds. And we will see you guys on Thursday for our next stream. Um, Jams, can you drop our raid messages in the chat? Because yeah. I can't spell nerd for some strange reason. You can't spell nerd? Yeah. It's part or of, I can't part type nerd. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And OBS is frozen, so now I'm stuck with the av cool, cool, There we cool, go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. Alrighty. We shall see you guys on Thursday. Um, <laughs> until then, if you have to go out, please remember to continue wearing your masks, get vaccinated if you can, and that booster when it's available. Don't be a dick. I feel like I... I'm gonna have to um, change this because all of our mask mandates have been lifted. But yeah, be kind to people that choose to still wear masks. I feel like that needs to be said. Um, it's your choice whether or not <laughs> we you broke want Ronnie. to. You know, that was extra up. vigorous. <laughs> I was trying to get it finished quickly. <laughs> so yeah, don't be a dick. Stay curious. Don't be a dick. Thank you, everybody, for, for tuning in. You guys are the best. <laughs> yes. Bye -bye. No, you you all are the real MPVs. Bye -bye. I'm using that from Bye -bye. now on. Oh. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Awkward people trying to not be awkward. I just...